Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday, January 12th. Uh, kind of a big day today. We got some uh, important economic news releases, and we'll start off with the Consumer Price Index, also known as the CPI. This is inflation on the consumer level here. So this is the headline number. We had a 0.4% increase, pretty big number there in the month of November. Uh, forecast for December was 0.2%. And it came in at 0.1%, so a little bit less than expected uh, on this. And this went from like 2.2 to 2.1 year over year. But when you strip out the volatility of food and energy, we get what they call the core CPI. And this is really what the Fed will look at. And back in November, we had a 0.1% increase. Uh, forecast for December was supposed to be a little bit hotter at 0.2, and it came in much hotter at 0.3%. This brought the uh, core uh, from 1.7 to 1.8. So this one went upwards. And... This is, uh, you'll see in a bit here, it's kind of spooking the bond markets uh, with this number here. Now, the Fed's favorite gauge is the PCE, but uh, they do look, there is a bit of weight on the CPI as well. And uh, now, investors know that there's going to be inflation at some point is going to go up, but with it kind of coming up this fast, this soon, and you know, talk about the Fed's raising rates, that means they're probably going to raise it if inflation is, uh, if this is a trend. Uh, again, one one number doesn't make a trend, but uh, if it does become a trend, of course they're going to see more rate hikes than what they pr previously thought. Now, there's you know initially the dot plot showed about three, but if inflation does pick up, they will probably go at least four this year. Uh, that's a very good uh, chance for that. So be prepared for that. And you know, meanwhile, the markets are kind of adjusting for it. We also got retail sales for the month of December. So November, great month, 0.9%. December uh, forecast was at 0.4%, and it came in right at forecast at 0.4%. Very good month. Uh, now, when you strip out the big ticket items like autos, we get uh, kind of its core, and we had a 1.3% November. Again, awesome number there. Uh, same thing, 0.4%, and it went up, it came in at 0.4%. So, very good month for December for retail sales. And last but not least, we got business inventories for the month of November. So, we had a drop in October at 0.1%. Forecast was supposed to be 0.3 percent for November, and it increased by 0.4 percent, so a little bit better uh, than previously thought. So, overall, pretty good numbers, but of course, that CPI is the one that's uh, kind of, you know, freaking the at least the bond market out because uh, the, en the enemy to uh, bonds is inflation, and that is primarily because when you have a value set for over 30 years and inflation takes up, that takes away the value of the bonds, and that's why it's like a big enemy to bonds. Uh, because they're set for a whole 30 years, and they could be losing money in that time period if inflation is ticking upwards. Headline news, the market is up. It is uh, taking its cue from what we saw, but also we got Q4 earnings reports coming in here. We had some pretty good ones, the banks and stuff coming in. Now, Q4 is going to be kind of interesting primarily because with the new tax cuts, we could be seeing some corporations uh, doing like one-time losses, so it may not look good but uh, initially, but when you read through the lines, it's just they're taking one one. Uh, um, like one-time losses to be able to attain uh, certain levels with their taxes. So you might see some tax maneuvering in the fourth quarter here, uh, and the stock market is aware of this, and they're kind of watching them. So, so far, we have pretty much the financials, like Wells Fargo, Chase, uh, I believe BlackRock, we're coming out all doing pretty good. The only one that uh, kind of disappointed today is, um, you know, I don't think it was a report, earnings report, it's just, uh, but stock doing not so good today is uh, or Facebook, I guess, uh, a blog post that Mark Zuckerberg had wrote about uh, posting uh, family and friends, posts up more um, weight than, uh, I guess, business um, posts. So they're giving a little bit more weight to those, I think, in their findings or the news feeds and stuff like that. So um, so the market kind of reacted negatively to, to that post. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the bond market and see uh, how bad it was affected. So as you can see, as soon as that uh, we were, we started off the day right about here, and when the bond market, when the CPI came out, we were way down here. We we're like over 30 basis points drop. Since then, we've subsided. We're down. You know, we've been kind of going back and forth since I've created this between nine and uh, 12 basis points. So we're in that range of between nine and 12 basis points lower from where we left off yesterday here. And here's where we left off yesterday. Yesterday was a decent day, uh, but we pulled back a little bit. We're, we're above the first level of resistance, our floor of support, or, or above the first level of resistance here. So, um, again, uh, we'll have to kind of wait and see if we can uh, keep a break, break above this and kind of rebound back and get closer to the uh, 
different moving days of average. So usually anytime you get kind of that far apart, you usually have a whips up backwards. So uh, we'll have at least one good day kind of brought back towards towards there. Uh, so let's see how the treasury market is doing. And treasury market, at least we're still below that 260 range. Uh, as you saw, that shot all the way up to like 2.58 uh, from 2.454 range this morning. And then right now we're kind of selling in right around 2.56 range uh, right now. So still below the uh, the first level resistance here, but we still got some room here right in the middle. So if it, it does come down, it drops further down, we do got some room here at the 250 level, uh, which would, of course, help out rates if it can move down that way. But uh, also remind, we got, uh, reminder, we got a three-day weekend here. Uh, Monday will be Martin Luther King Day. The markets will be closed, so we won't be doing any, another um, uh, report on Monday, so we won't see you tell you guys uh, see you guys until Tuesday. Uh, but uh, if you guys, but today again, uh, rates kind of worsen a little bit. So uh, for the most part, uh, investors are going to kind of come in a little worse due to that inflation. It's going to scare a lot of people. So expect most investors or banks coming with a little worse pricing today compared to what we had yesterday. But if you guys want to get more updates, just come over to Twitter. You can find me on my hand up, Mike Bjork. I will be posted throughout the day on Twitter, and you can get market updates uh, as the day goes on. You guys have a great rest, great weekend. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesday. Bye-bye.